Greetings, Capricorn, and welcome to your horoscope. Well, I mean, even though it's Pisces time of year, which rules your third house, so that's about friends and siblings and neighbors and poetry and working with your hands and finding a way to um, make sense of make sense of everything. That's right here on you, with you. And um, it gives you courage. The third house also is a place where you find courage. So if you've been timid about things, this is where you can get your groove back on and make things better. And let's face it, you've got Mars in the first house. I mean, Mars in Capricorn is exalted Mars, people. Exalted Mars rocks, okay? And so you're going to get it done. You're going to get it done like no one else can right now. And... Capricorn issues are all about it right now. It's all about, you know, banks and business and politics and, you know, the nuts and bolts of the machine. You know, and Capricorn is kind of like that. Nuts and bolts of the machine. And how are we moving forward with, the, with ecology? How are we moving forward with the Earth? How are we dealing with transformation when we have a planet that's been under threat and under siege? Where we had a decade... And called the 1970s, we were working on this type of things, and suddenly we had very poor leadership that came into office in 1981 that said, I want to destroy the planet for rich people. <laughs> it worked. <laughs> I shouldn't be laughing. I know it's not funny. There's people that don't know how to laugh at that. Some people laugh at wrong things that cause a lot of tension, it, it relieves tension to laugh. Some people can't laugh. Nothing's funny anymore. It's 2020. And, you know, some people want to give the, wor the whole world a politically correct wedgie. <laughs> it's like, what crawled up there, buddy? <laughs> 